A movie about a tree. Why should you care? Here's why. Because I guarantee you have never, ever seen anything like this. It's such a unique, refreshing film. One that, listen, I've watched a lot of movies, man, as I'm sure a lot of you have. But I have never seen anything quite like this. But I bet you anything... The majority of you out there are not going to see it, despite my best attempts to try and get you to do so in this review. So please, be open-minded and listen up, because I'd really, really like to see a lot of you jump on the bandwagon and appreciate cinema that isn't about bashing you over the head with obvious narratives, big explosions, and IPs to make you feel comfortable. Challenge yourselves and now actually let's see if we can get you all to watch a movie which you may not have heard of or the subject matter may be incredibly challenging to you. Because here's the premise in short. This poetic and beautiful documentary follows a year in the life of a majestic 210 year old oak tree and its many inhabitants exploring the immensely rich universe thriving beneath its branches featuring a unique cast haha <laughs> cast which includes squirrels birds ants mice and packed with humor joy and heart in your mouth action this remarkably unique feature offers a fascinating insight into the heart of a buzzing vibrant ecosystem and to that end, Heart of an Oak is an absolute resounding success. Now, what I'd like you to liken this to, because here's why Heart of an Oak is challenging. Narrative, zero. Voiceovers or commentary, zero. This is all about the visual immersion into something which, to the average person, is not even that interesting. Let's be real. How many people out there actually stop and think, huh? A year in the life of a tree. Who cares? You should care. Because what this film does, much the way that... Think of that I just can't wait to be king scene from The Lion King. The pomp, the fanfare of the, of the classic and more modern Disney movies. Somehow, against all odds, the filmmakers have managed to capture that almost Disney over-the-top quality but in real time. It's quite the remarkable achievement. Um, I think, I think the, yeah, I think cons the, the idea was to take a documentary subject and tell it with the narrative and technical know-how typical of a fictional feature film and with the primary intention of showing audiences something they had n they've never seen before. Very few live-action feature films have ever taken up the challenge of a complete immersion into the heart of a tree without, and I cannot stress this enough, without voiceover commentary. So there's things like The Blue Planet, like Planet Earth with David Attenborough. Imagine that without David Attenborough. This film uses the latest audiovisual technologies, including 360 degree virtual cameras, machinery and special effects, and cutting edge innovations that allowed the filmmakers to approach the microscopic world and inner universe of living creatures. They've been able to completely immerse the viewer into the heart of a tree, and that's why you should care about it. Telling stories that I believe will both touch and surprise you all, whether young or old, irrespective of your ecological awareness. Now, here's the crazy part, right? Because this is a damn hard sell. The idea of being immersed into a tree for 90 minutes without any narrative, without any context, to most of us, myself included, without any knowing of the inner workings of a tree. Why the hell would I give that my time? please trust me when I say, I mean, you've seen the trailer playing, right? I mean, let me loop it up here again, because it is quite the thing of beauty. Some of the ways they have captured this year-long life of a tree, the inner workings of of this tree, of, of the animals that live beside it, the tension 
that they've managed to fill the screen with. There are genuinely heart-in-the-mouth moments where I was regressing into my chair going, you better bloody not. But ultimately, this isn't storytelling. This is Mother Nature in its rawest form. Things like snakes attacking baby birds. Things like... I mean, there's a flying scene they've captured in this movie, and this is just an example of many, but it's the one that particularly stuck out to me, of, of, of a bird of prey chasing after another bird, going at full pelt, full speed, and they've captured it perfectly still. They've captured the whole trajectory. They've, they've gone, they've followed the bird in parallel, and I'm like... Listen, as a guy who, I've made no mystery about this on the channel, as a guy who still does and used to do it more actively, film nature for a living, I'm looking at some of these camera tricks and I'm going, how the hell did you manage to capture that? It's, it's a revelation, this movie. But I stress this again. It is a hard sell. No narrative. Check. No story. Check. No voiceover or human characters. Check zero context you've kind of just got to submit and allow yourself to go along for the ride but if you're not someone who's interested in the natural world if you're someone who's going to struggle with the you know keeping your your attention on something which ultimately has got no story and is just taking like what the bbc nature documentaries do which for me is like the pinnacle of documentary nature documentary filmmaking and just elevating that which i can't believe i'm saying because they're among amongst the best nature documentarians on the planet but it really is elevating what the bbc does so well and presenting nature in a new light that it's filmed in a way that i've not seen before and that's crazy to me so it's a technical marvel it, it's tense it's it's a story about survival about love about hunting it's it's got a bit of everything it's a perfect kind of microcosm it, a, a capsule of what nature really is but because of the subject matter and because of the fact that it is by its very nature quite restrictive i'm gonna have to score heart of anoka 7.5 out of 10 though i would say if i was scoring this purely on being a technical marvel this movie would without a doubt be a bona fide 10 out of 10 in terms of the effort and the achievement of what these guys have captured over at gumal it's i mean it's quite the thing man but it ain't for everyone it ain't for everyone documentaries themselves are not for most people i, I know I don't know, six or seven out of ten people will probably not give much time to a documentary, let alone one about a frickin' tree. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. You must give this tree your attention, because <laughs> it's incredible, man. What they have achieved here is like nothing I've ever seen before. So, for all of the naysayers out there who are like, they don't make original movies anymore, challenge. Go and seek out this movie, which arrives in cinemas July 7th, or premieres on the Icon Film Channel on June 10th. I dare you, I double dare you, mother effer, to quote Pulp Fiction, go and see a movie which I guarantee is not on your radar, and which I guarantee is going to make you reevaluate the whole, they don't make original movies anymore. Challenge laid out. Now let me see what you guys got to say. Leave your comments down below. Are you going to go see this movie? Is it something that's been put on your radar? Do you like nature documentaries? What's your favorite? All of those thoughts and comments down below. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Subscribe button is right here. If you want to see more reviews, there's the button up here for that. And I will see you guys very soon right here on the Silver Screen Dudes. Bye for now.